Hey guys, it's Monday, August 6th, 2018, and today marks 52 weeks post-op VSG for me. Um, I had VSG surgery August 7th, 2017, in um, LaGrange, Georgia at Wellstar Medical Center with Dr. Wesley Turton. My highest weight prior to surgery was 400 pounds. I managed to lose 125 pounds on my own. The day of surgery, my weight was 275 pounds. I lost 10 pounds on my pre-op diet. And as of today, I am 200 pounds even. I'm going to come back in tomorrow on my official one year surgery, but today marks 52 weeks for me. I have my surgery on a Monday, hence the Monday. So, um, what's been going on? For the month of July, I managed to reach Wonderland and my weight has been fluctuating since. Um, I got down to my lowest weight of 193 pounds, um, which was right before vacation. Came back from vacation and about a week and a half, two weeks ago now, and my weight has just been fluctuating between 196 and 200 pounds. So, um, that's where I've been for this past month, um, since my last update. <sighs> so, I, um, decided I'm gonna go back to basics. Um, I'm playing Monopoly right now. I did a bunch of meal prep yesterday with some wonton wrappers and made wonton egg cups. Um, I did like a tuna milk variation. I did some that are just like ground beef, ricotta cheese, and regular cheese. Um, and some with pepper jack cheese, egg, and ground beef as well. Um, that's what I'm going to stick to uh, starting next week. Um, even though I made them pretty girl. Pretty girl. Stop chewing on my sheet, please. So, even though I made them yesterday, um, I'm not going to indulge in them just yet. I mean, even though I had some today. Because as of right now, I set my fasting timer. I am going to kick off my second year. Or going into my second year post-op as of today with doing a fast. Um, I'm getting ready to take some magnesium citrate. So you can see here. I'm gonna take this to get things moving and this will be the last thing I have um, for my fast. I am going to fast the remaining of this week here. I haven't decided if I'm going to do a water fast or an egg fast or a fat fast. I just know I'm fasting and I will come in every day and let you guys know how my day is going but um yeah I've lost 75 pounds since the day of surgery I still have 25 more pounds to reach my goal of 175 pounds um right now I'm participating with Jess her YouTube channel is watch kitty shrink and hashtag on Instagram as Operation Lowest Weight. Um, my lowest weight so far is the 193 that I've seen in life. Um, so that's where I'm trying to reach um, for the challenge purposes. But obviously my overall goal is to get down to my lowest weight ever. Um, which would be my ideal range for my height. So... That's what's been going on. Um, I've been trying to decide whether or not I want to keep my diet low carb or keto or, you know, intuitive eating in that aspect. Because I can stick to keto and low carb, but it's like when I'm out and about, and there's things I want to try. Um, I don't want to just limit my eating you know just based off my diet I want to um, be able to eat what I want and still you know reach and maintain my goals so 
so that's where I am right now so I figured I'll go ahead and I'll kick off year number two um, with the fast that way I can get whatever gunk and stuff that I had in my system from vacation and this past week of me attempting to try to get back on track and things like that plus I had um, some fruit loops I've had some Cheez-Its I had a donut um, it's just you know little things that contribute to me you know with my weight fluctuating the way it's been and me not being able to get back down to my lowest weight it's nobody's fault but my own so that's another reason why I'm taking this nasty mess to um, flush my system out because even though I've taken stool softeners and laxatives <coughs> this week, I still haven't been able to fully empty out. So I know that's another reason for the fluctuation in weight. But um, I'm in size, t I wear a size 10 clothing. I could fit a medium to a large top. Um, also, I've gone ahead and um, I've taken the liberty of inquiring about plastics and um, I will be having it done next year I have to save it for it um, I want to get a lot more body fat off of me that's another reason why I'm looking into the fasting um, type of uh, protocol because even though I can if I had the money right now I can go have the surgery done tomorrow or whatever and uh, have good results but personally you know and I'm not knocking anybody who's done it but I would rather get as much weight off of my body physically before going into plastic surgery because obviously you're gonna lose more weight and you have to get a revision and I don't want to go through that it's like a, a one time and I'm done type of thing like the surgery, the weight loss surgery, I have that. I don't have to go back in and get a revision. I'm the one who has to put in the work for it. Um, when I have my plastic surgery, um, the surgeon that I'm going with is Dr. Alex Galvez. He's a, a surgeon out in Mexico. Um, I've already gotten my quote. I've gotten everything. Um, I've sent him pictures for the consultation and everything like that. Um, his recommendation for me, based off the pictures that I sent him, and um, you know, to get my body snatched or whatever, how the kids say these days, um, he recommends a belt lipectomy with um, a tummy tuck, muscle tightening and liposuction so um, I've been looking on YouTube doing research on that procedure um, also I have an option of doing um, a BBL with uh, fat grafting and transfer and things like that but that's not my main focus my main focus is dropping body fat getting to my goal weight and losing as much body fat as possible for when the time does come for plastics. Um, I'm thinking about maybe um, May of next year, sometime during the spring or summertime, um, or whenever I get the money to save up for it. Um, so that's where I'm at right now with everything and yeah. So, 52 weeks post-op as of today. My official one-year surgery is tomorrow. And I will come back in with an update as far as my weight. Um, my weight might go up. It might go down. I don't know. Um, as of today, I was 200 pounds. So, tomorrow we'll see if the weight goes up based off of what I ate today. Um, and, yeah. So, that is how my year has been so far. Just, uh, I made some good choices, I made some bad choices, um, stuff that I can learn from. 
this is by no means an easy pill to swallow. It's the lemon flavor. I got it from Big Lots. I usually get it from Walmart. They have the different flavors, but what do you want for a dollar at Big Lots? So I have to take my time with it. Obviously, it's a little bit carbonated, but that's how much I have left. So I'm going to finish this. And uh, yeah, so I will check in with you guys tomorrow for my official one year post op BSD surgery video update thingy, whatever. Bye, guys. Take care.